players, including Daigo. And Justin really wants to, to keep the dream alive for the U.S. But I mean, if you beat Daigo and lose his bracket, <laughs> yes. I mean, who's stopping you? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That, that definitely must have been a big motivator there for Justin to really keep himself in. So let's see. But yeah. he's got to play against yeah. Nikali. Yes. Squall, of course. Repping BXA. Let's see. I'm very curious to see how Justin kind of approaches this matchup. Of course, Nikali, one of uh, the scarier characters right now in the game, especially when he get his, gets his momentum going. And I think that's what, this is probably where Justin's going to want to be the whole match, but here comes the command throw. And I like starting off with that command grab early. Wow. Justin throws him out, out of the stomp there. Wow, I like that little shimmy there into roundhouse. This is going to deal big damage here. Wow, no challenge there from Squall. Just gets crossed up. This could be stunned. No one hit Not away. Quite. There it is. Standing short. And of course, Karen standing short so good. Definitely go into two standing shorts and get a counter hit or, you know, tick throw, which is very, very hard to, to, to see coming. Great victory there. Wow, I love that counter hit sweep there. It's kind of a bit of a counter poke. Justin's got so much meter to work with. Once again, there's that sweep we were talking about. This is where Justin wants to play this matchup. He doesn't really want to get in Squall's face too much unless he's got the knockdown. But look at the damage. Already Man. took out half of Squall's damage here. Oh! He can go with the super here and this will close it out. And Justin Wong already looking so strong here against BXA Squall, taking up one game to nothing. Just nothing really too special either, just no. playing the footsie games, playing his game, and landing that super. No, this is, the, this is you know, back to Justin Wong's old playstyle. I think he's really found love with Karen here in this game. He just, he's so good at playing that neutral and, you know, playing, playing with his fundamentals and his footsies. And that's exactly what Karen kind of does best, but she's also got the ability to really kind of rush down and deal a lot of damage. So she's very flexible in that way. Oh, nice challenge there from Squall. An air to air from Justin, and there's a command throw again. Is it gonna pay off though? Yeah, no, he didn't get too much off of it. And there's a tick throw. Justin with another bit of a healthy life lead. Wow, just such good spacing with that palm. Another challenge from Squall here. Wow, here's the damage. What's he got? Oh, just way too early there. Definitely mistimed that by a little bit. Would have gotten the hit there from Squall, but he does have V-Trigger. One of the only V-Triggers in this game. It's not the only V-Trigger that actually is infinite. And it speeds up Nikali and makes him one of the scariest characters in the game. Nice block. Yes. Doesn't yeah. want to eat anything unnecessary right now. Right, and Squall may actually just kind of wait this out. He says, hey... Don't really want to deal with you with V-Trigger. Yours runs out and mine doesn't. Great, great spacing here. Oh, wow, and Justin finds an opening. Oh, and the wow. overhead to take it. Squall, I think, tried to do a crouching strong there. He really just hasn't... Squall hasn't been able to get any offense going at all. He's gotten two command grabs, but just puts you too far away to really get anything after it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, good stuff here. Going to take him all the way to the corner with his super. And this is going to be a real big life lead and position that Squall wants to be in. So. Oh, wow. Gets the crush counter. Nice. I love that. Firm had the charge. And there's the jump in for Justin. Not gonna use, I don't think he's going to use his meter yet. Oh, he does? Okay. Oh, no. He throws him out of the corner. I don't know how much I like that. I mean, I think he wants to win now. He's got the yeah. bar. Oh, wow. Nice shimmy there. Dash in, dash back. Squall gets away there, had high stun, but now things are looking like they're going his way. Oh, what's Justin got? Oh, wow, oh. this could do it. He could he close us out here. Nice. And Justin Wong taking it up two to nothing over BXA Squall. Wow, Justin just did not let him do anything that, that game. I mean, Squall... At, at all. Like, yes. Squall really had to fight to really build any kind of momentum. Yeah, he it just didn't let Squall, like, do anything. You know, he made made it look like Squall didn't know how to play the neutral with Nikali, but that's just what Justin Wong does. He may, just makes good players look 
look, yeah. look stupid sometimes in the neutral yes. with how, how much he dominates it. So, And Justin just wasn't afraid to block. Yep. Took that command grab. Knows he's not really going to get pressured after it. Yep. And just continue to play his game. Yeah, good stuff from Squall, though. Really, really tried to challenge Justin and kind of tried to stay random, but he he made it this far, man. Yep. He's definitely, he's definitely got to be be happy after he washes off the salt. I think he'll be uh, quite quite happy to make it at a 5,000, over 5,000 over competitors 5, making it in the top 32. That's uh, it's pretty impressive, guys. 5,107. And up next here, guys, we have ESL Oil